it's Rachel. Um, welcome back to my channel. Cue music. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of questions on my last video if I'm still in a sport. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna in the video, but mind you, I like it to be like, you know. Everybody. I am going to be doing a get ready with me for um, like a dance dog appearance today we have to go onto the field and do like a freshman welcome for like all the freshmen coming to the university so we have to dance and stuff which means we have to be in full makeup and hair so I'm gonna do like a get ready with me version of that I let my hair kind of halfway air dry because I don't like having the blow dryer on it that long because the heat but I'm gonna let this air dry a little more and then I'm gonna show you guys how I curl and like the makeup I do I don't really do that dramatic but we have to like wear more than normal obviously um and yeah so I'm just gonna be doing get ready with me um, my name is Rachel if you're new to the channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this and things like that leave comments below of video ideas that you guys would like to see I'm a senior in college and yeah I've been getting a lot of questions on my last video if I'm still in a sorority here and I used to be a Kappa Delta here at University of Georgia and I recently dropped because I was just really busy with dance and I just had other things that were more important um, to use and spend my time towards and a lot of my friends actually graduated last year that were in the sorority so I did drop um, still love the sorority still love all the girls in it but it was just like not good for me and the timing and stuff so I just wanted to clear that up because I got a lot of questions and stuff on Instagram and in my last video about that so I just wanted to clear that up I still really love this mirror I got I think it's like so cute right here. I also hung all my hats. I think it's cute. So now that my hair is dry, I'm going to curl it. I let it just after I blow dry, I let it sit for a little bit so it can like defrizz kind of because I have naturally curly hair. Um, so the things that I use to curl my hair, obviously I have a curling iron. This is literally like such an old one from TJ Maxx. I don't use anything special. I use one that has a clamp. I don't use one with a wand, like a wand one. I use this Living Proof Instant Defrizzer. This is like a lifesaver for people with naturally curly hair. I use this little um, dry bar clamp to like suction off my hair and stuff like that and then I use a hairspray. I just use trust me I've used it like my whole life growing up it's like what my mom used so that's what I use and then a brush at the end to brush out my curls. I also use like a comb because the first thing that I do before I even start curling my hair is I spray the roots like that which is the weirdest thing I know and then I just go like this and it gets all the flyaways down and it just like, I don't know, I just like my hair kind of flat to my head. I know a lot of people like volume, but I like volume like down here, but like up here I like it to be like, you know, hang on. I put the heat setting on the lowest one because I do have fine like blonde hair, so I don't want to burn it. Like the, the higher settings are more so for brunettes. At least I've heard I don't really know if that's 100% so what I do is I part it down the middle and then I'll section it off in halves which is when I use this I look like a crazy person <laughs> I don't have really any method to this I just take kind of semi big chunks like halfway and I'll wrap it like this and just keep pulling it down and I leave a little tiny piece of the end out because when I pull it through, it like curls it towards the end. So it gives me curls that look like this. And I like like not the super ringlet. I like kind of like the beachy ones. So yeah, I'm going to do this side of my head and then I will show you guys. And another thing I do is I take this 
and before I start curling I like flatten out the root of my hair so it's not so puffy like towards the root so that's kind of like a little tip I guess <laughs> are curled I look like a crazy person I'm going to spray this all throughout it and you want to wait till your curls are like cold like you don't want your curls to still be hot because then they won't hold I need to fix this piece of stuff and I just kind of put my fingers through it like that normally I'll take a like a comb kind of and just like comb through all of it and my hair is like freshly clean. It always curls better like the second day or when it's dirty, but, and then at the end I'll take hairspray. Super easy, it takes me like seven minutes, I'm not kidding. It's quicker for me to curl my hair than straighten my hair because straightening it, straightening it, I have to like go over it several times because it's naturally curly and frizzy. So that is how I curl my hair. I'm going to take a little break because I got ready kind of early and then I'll show you guys how I do my makeup. Okay, it is a little while later. Let's see if I can get this straight. Probably not. My tripod is like not tight. It doesn't stay tight, so I don't know what the deal is. So now I'm gonna do my makeup. I normally do it in my bathroom, but I wanted to like be able to film this for you guys. So my makeup is really simple. I'm really bad at makeup. I try to be good, but I'm like still learning. So there's only a few products I use. Um, yeah. So where to start? I need to get this beauty blender wet. So I always start with putting on a moisturizer. So I'm gonna use this little one. It's just like a sample one that I got from Sephora. I just got home from the beach, so my face is kind of peeling, so I have to like put a lot of moisturizer on. I do that, I let that sink into my skin for a second, and then I go in with concealer. Go in, isn't that like what beauty gurus say? I go in with the shade. Okay, so I use this Hello Fab Fendi Avocado Concealer by First Aid Beauty. It's my favorite concealer that I've honestly found yet. I normally used a drugstore one, but this works pretty well. Don't really know where you're supposed to put concealer. I just kind of put it where I see other people put it in videos. And then I use a beauty blender to just like rub it in, I guess. I kind of just put concealer as like my foundation and I put it in the places where I get like oily. So, and then I have this little like fun little friend popping up. So I'm just gonna cover that. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with, I need to stop saying that. <laughs> now I'm gonna use this Clinique um, powder foundation. So this is the Beyond Perfecting. I've been using this for a while. I'm in the shade 14 vanilla for like color reference. Um, and then I just take like this Sigma brush that my sister's dog chewed up and I just put this all over for, there's a piece of hair, put this all over my face. And this kind of acts as like my foundation, I guess. And then on my forehead and then next, and you want to make sure you bring it down your neck. Next I use Hula Bronzer. I've been using this for forever. Um, I love it, but I normally do like a three on my cheekbones and then I'll add like extra under here because it makes your neck look skinnier. Tip ladies, make sure you buff out the neck. If I could have one makeup product, like if I was only allowed to wear one product a day, it would definitely be bronzer. Okay, we're just gonna scratch the clip. Okay, and then next I put on blush and I use this convertible color dual lip and cheek cream from Tarte. Oh wait, no, this is Stila. It's like this, super cute. And I'm in the shade Petunia. 
looks like that and I just dab it on my middle finger and kind of like get it like um, warm I guess so it like and then you smile and you pat it on your cheek the lady at Sephora told me I was weird for using like powder and then putting cream blush over it but I just have always liked it and it's worked for me so I guess whatever like works for you so I do that So you can put on your lips, but I didn't know that. I'm gonna do eyeliner. I never do this, so this is risky for me. I'm gonna just do under my top, like my waterline on my top and then my waterline on the bottom. I have to like lean in towards the mirror so I don't mess up, so I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, I'm nervous. I don't even know if you can like tell a difference, but just like darken my eyes a little. I did it underneath and then in my waterline. I need to fix this. I take this eyeshadow brush, which I had to just borrow from my roommate because I don't even own one. And then I take this, who I'm like breathing so hard because I, I was so nervous about doing the highlighter. <clears throat> I dip it in the Hoola bronzer and I use my bronzer as eyeshadow. So I just like do it in the crease, like so. So that's that. Okay, and then last step is mascara. I use, I normally wear fake eyelashes, but I'm not going to today, but normally we have to wear fake eyelashes, so, and I don't have very long lashes, so I have to. Take this L'Oreal Telescopic um, Mascara, this is one that I've been using for years, and I'll do the top and the bottom lashes, so let's get it. What is that beeping noise? Can you guys hear that? Okay, so this is the finished. I'm probably gonna put on some more eyeliner because I feel like I need to have more makeup on than this, but um, this is, my hair and makeup that is kind of honestly how I do my hair and makeup every day mine just like the eyeliner and eyeshadow um but that's how I like curl my hair and stuff every day um also update I haven't had um mascara on since I started the lash boost I've been using it for probably a week and a half now and I already think that my lashes are getting so much longer like they never used to be this long when I put mascara on so that's exciting that is my hair and makeup um I have to change into my uniform and stuff soon. I still have like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna sit here and just like relax, watch probably a YouTube video or something, so yeah. Got my water, I just filled it up. Got my backpack, got this little outfit on, and we're gonna go, I'm driving some friends because parking is like, parking is kind of crazy, so. Hey Vals. Welcome to my room. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so cute. Of, like, get me getting my makeup real good. Yeah, like, I don't really have good lips. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Let's make a thumbnail, ready? Uh, so good. Hold it, one, two, three. I look like you're freaking crazy. That's fun. <laughs> so we just got done with freshman welcome. It was like 100 degrees outside, maybe hotter. And you can literally see the sweat in my hair. I'll just give you up close real quick. <laughs> Remember making my straw like you did at Starbucks? Oh yeah. Ow. We're gonna end the vlog. Thanks for watching. And be back in the next vlog. See ya. <laughs> All right, it's it's recording. See you everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs>